Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasham, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect. Within the nation of Israel, Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as you Israelite foreigners. Scattered abroad, that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but are Israelites. And I also want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and in truth. All right, this is the brother you call from the GMS branch out in Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Habakkuk with Ash. And um, I was just scrolling through the news, came across this article from Zero Hedge entitled, It's Crazy on Many Levels, but Cook County has launched its free money UBI program, all right? And Cook County is where uh, Chicago is uh, uh, situated in, all right? And you know, there's a lot that's going on out there, a lot of legislation that's being put down, all right? Where, uh, that's gonna be a major um, uh, testing ground, so to speak, of uh, a lot of Esau's different plans, all right? You know that they just had that, that purge law that's um, gonna be instituted, all right, coming on, um, uh, this next year, the beginning of the next year, all right, where they aren't going to be putting people, um, uh, arresting certain people for certain crimes because they're getting rid of uh, the bail, the bail system, right? You know, you could look further into that, but just showing you that there's going to be a lot that's going on, all right. But uh, this is something else that's happening, all right. Uh, they've got a UBI program now. UBI is uh, it stands for Universal Basic Income, all right. Now a lot of brothers have been speaking about you know the Universal Basic in Income which is gonna be instituted, all right, on a, uh, on a global scale, all right, because as it is written, let me grab this precept real quick in the book of 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, let Satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right, so as the scriptures also say in the book of Sirach, the 12th chapter, never trust thine enemy. Like his iron rusted, so, so, so is his wickedness, all right? So whenever this devil seems like he's doing something that's good, benevolent, all right, like he's uh, trying to help, okay, out of the goodness of his heart, he always has uh, ulterior motives, all right? So him doing this is gonna be a benefit for him. But how is it gonna be a benefit for him giving out free money? Well, he's gonna get the people comfortable, all right? He's gonna get the people very comfortable with receiving of these different things. All right, and as we're gonna read in this article, it's gonna be something that's easily accessible. Not a lot of uh, red tape that you gotta go through to uh, get approved to receive this income, all right? So where you're gonna get comfortable for it. But um, as you get comfortable, what's gonna happen? And he's gonna, start putting down certain stipulations for you to continue to receive it and by that point you know by the point they start rolling out those certain stipulations people that have been so comfortable with getting it and now are relying upon him relying upon it what are they going to do whatever stipulations are in place for them to do to receive it whether it's making sure that you have all of your uh your jabs right or whether it's making sure that you got the motb well they're going to easily fall fall into getting those things man because they want to continue to get those goodies as it says also in the scriptures man it says how a gift destroyed the heart now that goes into a bribe all right you know somebody could bribe you and it could change your reasoning uh, a matter of judgment all right because they threw you a little money but even applying it in a situation like this this being a gift all right <laughs> it um it's gonna destroy people man <laughs> okay it's gonna cause people to what to reason uh to to make bad reasoning all right, and receive of these different things, man. All right, that are against the scriptures, whether it's getting the, uh, the jab, all right, or finally receiving the MOTB, which is a which is a guaranteed destruction. All right, so let's read some of this article. All right, reading it from the top is crazy on many levels, but Cook County has launched its free money UBI program. All right, it says, um, yeah, I'll just read through. It says, teach a man to fish, and he will still just eat the fish given away free. Socrates. Socrates didn't really say that. I just made it up. I made it up because some wise man should have famously said it for the sake of those who seem oblivious to that fundamental aspect of human nature. It says among oblivious, among the oblivious are Cook County Board President Tony Pre uh, Preckwinkle, which is in the picture above, all right? See Eve right there, <laughs> okay? Well, it looks like to be Eve, a so-called uh, black woman. All right, an Israelite woman. It says, uh, 
Uh, it says uh, Cook County Board President Tony uh, Preckwinkle and the rest of her board. Last week, she announced the county's version of what's often called UBI, Universal Basic Income. Under the program, the county will send monthly payments of $500 to $3,250 to its residents who successfully apply for two years. Um, at, let's see, at $42 million, it's the largest publicly funded guarantee guaranteed income initiative in American history, okay? And once again, why would Esau be doing these types of things, all right? Because he's trying to set people up for the okie doke, and we're going to get into those different precepts where it talks about trusting in Egypt. Now, you aren't wicked, all right, for receiving of these different things. The scripture says, uh, using the word, using the world, but uh, not abusing it, all right? So, you know, hey, different things that are rolled out, okay, they want to, you know, hey, uh, go ahead and get it, all right? <laughs> Go ahead and get it, man, you know? But what is gonna to come to that point to where it's like, all right, well, you wanna to continue to receive those things where you're gonna to have to get in line with the program. And at that point, it's hell nah. All right, and that's why it says in the book of Isaiah, the 10th chapter, I'll just go ahead and jump in with that right now. Isaiah 10 and 20 says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel in truth. And this is what he's trying to get you to do. He's trying to get you to stay upon him. All right, but the remnant, they're going to trust him. <coughs> Salakia. <clears throat> the remnant, they're going to trust and rely upon Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai for him to provide. All right. And the Lord can use Esau Edom to provide, to help. Okay, it even says in the book of Revelation how we were nourished at the face of the serpent for a time period. All right. And even now, you know, there's certain benefits that Jake uh, receives from whether it's the government or whatever the case it may be. Once again, you aren't wicked for receiving those things, but knowing. Whom, who is providing for you, all right? It's not him, okay? It's the Lord. And he may be using him as a, a, a avenue to do so, all right? The scriptures even say in the book of, uh, see the Jeremiah or Proverbs, all right? But it says, um, when a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. So you may find yourself in a, in a situation where your, your uh, enemy, Esau Edom, is looking out for you or helping you out, all right? <laughs> And he's still going to go into captivity. He's still going to be in slavery. All right. But the Lord just used him as a vessel. All right. To provide and help out you being his servant. All right. But anyways, it says, uh, it says, um, let's see. UBI programs are sometimes called free money programs as in this column describing 13 similar programs in certain cities around the nation. Free money is a fair label because that's exactly the point to make cash handouts with no strings attached. No work, disability, or training, enrollment requirements. No regard for how much the recipient is getting from other assistant, assistance program. And no real question other than household income. Eligibility is open to anybody 18 or older with a household income or, or at or below 250% of the federal poverty level. Or about $58,000 for a family of three. About 36% of all Cook County residents will therefore be eligible, uh, Preg Winkle says, all right? So that's all we're going to read on the article, Lords Will I Remember to put it in the description box. But as you see, once again, all right, what is he trying to do? Trying to get the people to rely and stay upon him, all right? That's putting him, giving him more control and power, all right, uh, to, to, to manipulate the people, okay? But let's grab this in the book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 1. It says, uh, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. All right, that walk to go down to eat into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And that's what our people are doing. All right, they're trusting in Egypt to provide and to help for them. All right, to give them all their necessities and needs. Okay, but what does it say? It says, verse three, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. That's right, because if you're trusting in this system, if you're trusting in this devil, what's going to eventually happen, man? It's going to lead to your destruction, all right? Because if you trust in the system, you're going to, of course, get the MOTB, all right? If you're relying upon Esau Edom, you're going to do whatever he says, man, because that that is looked at as the form of salvation for our people, man, okay? You have people praying, our people uh, praying uh, to Trump, at one point, man, all right, you know, our people were so gun ho for Biden because he was supposed to be the savior, right? 
trusting in this devil and what? It's been nothing but your shame and your confusion, man. Jake has been in a, in a worst case scenario, more freaked out since this devil's coming uh, 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 in the office, man. All right. All types of alphabet agenda legislation has gone down, framing mischief by law. All right. All types of wickedness has happened, man. All right. And once again, man, this is all leading to our people's destruction. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 36 and verse 6. Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So was Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. All right. So once again, man, you're trusting in this system in Egypt, which is a broken system at that. All right. Which is collapsing. So the more that you lean and the more that you trust in it, it's going to eventually what? Pierce you through. All right. And that can be likened in the spirit unto what? You getting that MOTB, man. All right. That C hip. Okay, so the more that people are leaning on the system, man, the more, the more um, liable they are, for lack of a better word, I, I'm sure it's a better word I could have used, but um, that they are to uh, actually receiving of the um, MOTB, man. All right, and that's all that he wants to wants to do. All right, he wants a, a smooth as smooth of a transition as possible, man. If he can get 80% of the people to just uh, willingly take it, then he'll say, "Fuck it, I'll." I'll I'll make the, the, the rest of the 20% bound down by the sword, all right? So he's trying to push it out there. You know, this is for your good. This is for your benefit, different things like that. And then whatever remnant is left that's resistant, he's going to come down with that great wrath, man. All right, if he can't starve you out, cut you off, uh, uh, cut you off from um, receiving certain resources, all right? Not having access to the system as it is written, all right, in the book of Revelation 13 and 16, that no man might buy or sell. You go into that word buy, all right? It goes back to the Greek word uh, agorazo, I believe, but then the root of that word is agora, I know that. And the word agora is a marketplace, all right? Back in uh, back in Rome and Greece, all right, you had the uh, the agora, which was the, the marketplace. So it says that no man might buy or sell, all right? Meaning that what? You won't have access to the agora unless you got the sea hip, all right? And you won't have access to these different things unless you got the sea hip, right? So this is what he's pushing into play. Yeah, get nice and comfortable. All right, receive these benefits. Yeah, oh, y'all, no strings attached right now. All right, right now. That's how the devil gets down. All right. Then get comfortable. Then next thing you know, bam. Okay, hold on. You're going to have to do this. You're going to have to do that. Same thing he does with entertainers. Same thing he does with, with, with anybody, man. All right. But anyways, this is the book of uh, uh, Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down, for, uh, go down to Egypt for help. And stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Right. So if you aren't looking to Yahweh Shimei, I was shy to be the one to provide for you. If you don't recognize him as the one that's feeding you, all right, taking care of you. And you're looking at this devil as if he's the one that's doing everything for you. Right. As if if if, if he's not helping you out, then the Lord isn't going to come through through for you, man. Hey, that's going to be to your shame and your confusion, man. Straight up. All right. So that's why we got to walk in faith. All right. This devil can shut down every grocery store in the damn and damn America. It could be no food in the stores. All right. And the Lord can rain down food from heaven. He can make the ravens feed us. All right. As it is written, man, my servant shall eat. And the Lord is not a man that he shall lie. So if you're serving your house, I was shy and truth and sincerity, you're going to be provided for. Plain and simple. Just got to believe it. Stand on faith. You know? But having that being said, I'm going to end it right there, Lord, is what I was edifying. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakurash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.